Okay, so I'm ready for my second dive. Uh, we're in a place called Viking Bay, and you can see behind me there is a small bay, and it's very popular with people to come snorkeling. Actually, there's one boat coming down. But actually, the dive I'm doing today is an artificial reef. It's about 100 meters to the south, and they've stacked all these concrete blocks on top of each other to make three uh, giant pyramids. So there are three pyramids at Viking Bay and I start my dive on the top of the first one and it's very shallow near the top, around about four or five meters. And the first thing I film as I descend down onto the pyramid are these pinnate spade fish. They're a kind of bat fish. And for some reason they love to hang around just on the top of this one pyramid. They're nearly always there. And this guy is getting a clean from two blue streaked cleaner wrasse. This is the Agripora coral that they're growing. Seems to be doing quite well. And those black fish there are called damselfish. I'm not sure exactly which kind. There's hundreds of different species of damselfish. Juvenile cardinal fish are often found living in the most bizarre places and here they are in amongst the spines of a group of spiny sea urchins. There's a few anemones growing on the pyramids and this anemone is home to a western clownfish or a family of western clownfish otherwise known as nemos. And you can see here I'm moving from the first pyramid over to the second one and now I'm on the deepest of the three pyramids and the deeper one always seems to have the most fish. These are emperors and that guy there is a kind of puffer fish. He's called a giant puffer. Many divers actually confuse the giant puffer with the mapper puffer but the giant puffer is much bigger and if you ever see the two together it's very easy to tell the difference. He's sometimes called a star puffer fish, but here in Thailand we call him a giant puffer. And below him is a school of emperors. Emperors are very easy to identify because they have that very distinct shaped head. Here's a good close up, and you can't really see right now, but he's actually got a blue streaked cleaner ass inside his mouth, giving him some dental work. And I think he's about to pop out. And there he goes. Uh, inside the pyramid now, there's lots of different kinds of snapper. And these silver ones are called one spot snapper. And they get their name from the big black spot on the rear of the body. And you can see one of them actually has a yellow spot. And I believe they change color from time to time. These are the Gorgonian sea fans that have been planted onto the pyramid and they seem to be doing very well. And you can see here the scale of the both pyramids. And a little further away from the pyramids, up in the shallower water, around about five or six meters, is the nursery where they first grow the coral. And it looks like here they're growing plate coral. And this is the Agripora nursery otherwise known as staghorn. And that beautiful orange and white fish is called a beaked coral fish. And you can see in this shot, he's actually lost an eye, which is a bit sad, but he's a kind of butterfly fish. And like most butterfly fish, he has a false eye on his tail, which is a defense mechanism. It's at Viking Bay, it's on Pipi Lei, and you can get there from either Pipi Don, Phuket, or Krabi.